Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this session, we will see how to move material within warehouse in SAP WM. So the agenda for the session is steps to move material from source bin to interim storage area. When we say that our storage is warehouse managed, this means we will be using warehouse to store a particular material. So there will be need sometimes to move material within the warehouse. So all the movements that take place are via interim storage area. So when we have a need to move material from one bin to other bin, it will be via interim storage area. So let's move to the steps to move material from source bin to interim storage area. So first step is to create a transfer requirement that will be via LB01. Then we will be creating transfer order via LT04 that will be in reference to transfer requirement. Then we will be confirming transfer order via LT12. So let's do all these functions practically. When you want to move goods within warehouse from one storage bin to other storage bin, you need to create transfer requirement, then transfer order. Always remember all movement within warehouse are done via interim storage area. So whenever you have requirement to move goods within storage bin, it's a two step process, which means that two transfer orders are created. First transfer order is created to move goods from source storage bin to interim storage area. And second transfer order is created to move from interim storage area to destination storage bin. Now I am taking example to move goods from source storage bin to interim storage area. To create transfer requirement, you need to enter transaction code LB01 in command field. This will navigate you to create transfer requirement page. Here you need to enter your warehouse number, movement type and any requirement number that will give reference of this transfer requirement. So I am entering test data here. I am using movement type 201 that is for goods issue. Requirement number is now press enter. It will navigate you to the other page. Here you can see that this is your destination storage type that is interim storage area and this is your interim storage bin. This is your plant and storage location. Here you need to enter your material and transfer requirement quantity. So I am entering my material here. Transfer requirement quantity, then press enter. It will fetch automatically all the details. Now click on save. So a transfer requirement is created to move your goods from source storage bin to destination storage bin. In this case, destination storage bin is interim storage area. You can display this transfer requirement in transaction code LB03. So enter LB03 in command field. Enter your warehouse number and transfer requirement number. This will navigate you to display transfer requirement page. Here you can view all the details. Always remember in transfer requirement you will be able to see destination storage type. Now second step that comes under this process is to create transfer order. So to create transfer order from transfer requirement, enter transaction code slash and LT04 in command field. This will navigate you to create transfer order from TR page. Here you need to enter your warehouse number and transfer requirement number. Then press enter. This will navigate you to the other page. Here you can see that this is the destination bin. This is the storage type search like first it will search for this value and secondly for this value. Now click on generate plus next material. It will automatically fetch all the details. Now click on save. So transfer order is created. 
you can display this transfer order in transaction slash and LT21 enter your TO number and warehouse number this will navigate you to display transfer order page here you can see that it has automatically picked source storage bin that is this is the storage type this is storage section and this is the storage bin this is the destination bin that is interim storage area here this red symbol means our transfer order is not yet confirmed so once you confirm transfer order our goods will be moved to this destination bin before confirming transfer order we will just check stock in transaction LS26 LS26 is to display stock overview at warehouse level here you need to enter your warehouse number material plant Here you can see that this 911 we can see that for put away 2 is left that is we have not confirmed our transfer order so it is showing in this stock for put away. And in this source storage bin that is showing up in transfer order you can see that this is the pick quantity that is 3 is left over here now we will again confirm transfer order and then we will again check this stock so to confirm transfer order you need to go to LT12 enter your transfer order number and warehouse number then press enter you can see your details here this is your material plant batch number and this is source storage bin and this is destination storage bin that is your interim storage area now click on save your transfer order will be confirmed generating a message now we will again check our stock in LS26 just refresh this page here you can see that in 911 available stock is now 4 earlier it was 2 and stock for put away is 0 and here it was showing as pink quantity was 2 but now it is showing as 0 so it means that our stock has moved from source that is from this storage bin to interim storage area so in similar way second transfer order can be created to move from interim storage area to destination storage bin so in this session we have seen how to move material within a warehouse and in next session we will see goods receipt and goods issue process in detail